Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is the integral of 1 over the sine of x times the cosine cube of x. Since we have that 1 in the numerator and the sine and the cosine in the denominator, we're going to use the same trick again by replacing the 1 by the sum of the sine squared plus the cosine squared, and therefore we end up with these two separate integrals. Here we have our first integral, and on our first integral we can say let and I'll put a 1 there, so this is associated with the first integral, let u equal the denominator cosine of x, which means that du, the derivative of that, will be equal to the minus sine of x dx. So the derivative of the cosine is the negative sine, the derivative of sine is the positive cosine, so we need the differential du is going to be minus sine of x dx, we look up here in the numerator, we see a positive sine of x, so we need a negative in front and a negative one in front here. So we'll multiply by negative one, multiply by negative one. So now we have in the denominator u cubed and a du in the denominator and a du in the numerator. So we can go ahead and write this as a minus one times the integral of du divided by u cubed. And on our second integral, notice we have something we've seen before, the integral of 1 over the sine times the cosine, so we're going to replace that by, again, the product or the sum of the sine squared plus the cosine squared. So the second integral is going to be the integral of the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x divided by the sine of x cosine of x times dx. Now, instead of writing this as 1 over u cubed, matter of fact, I'm going to write this instead as u to the minus 3 du. That's better because now we can simply integrate that. So this becomes equal to minus 1 times, that would be u to the minus 2 divided by negative 2 plus a constant of integration. We'll call that c1. And the second integral that becomes the integral of, well, actually, we're going to make that the sum of two integrals. So it'll be the sine over the cosine, the sine of x, divided by the cosine of x. And then the second integral is going to be plus the cosine of x. Oop, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself again. I want to have two integrals. So that will be dx plus the integral of the cosine of x divided by the sine of x times dx. And uh, let's see here, this can be simplified to be the, the following, so this is equal to the negatives cancel out, so we have 1 over 2 times 1 over u squared, remember that u for the first integral was equal to the cosine of x, and this here we can say plus, now we have, oh, plus c1, can't forget the constant, and here again we're going to do the same thing. If we let the cosine of x be u, then the du will be the negative sine of x, so I need a negative here, and I need a negative in front. And here, if the differential here, if, the, if we let u equal the sine of x, then du is the cosine of x, so again we can go ahead and integrate that as well. So this becomes equal to uh, minus the natural log of the denominator, which is the cosine of x, because this is du over u, and here plus, again, that's du over u, so we can go ahead and take this as the natural log of the sine of x plus a second constant of integration, and then we can combine those two, we can replace this u by the cosine of x, so this is equal to 1 over 2 times the cosine square of x, and then here there would be plus the natural log of the positive goes in the numerator, sine of x. This goes in the denominator, cosine of x. We can combine the two constants of integration as a c, and then this can be reduced to 1 over 2 times the cosine square of x plus the natural log of the tangent of x plus a constant of integration, and that will then be the final result of that particular integral. So you can see what happens is, again, you replace the 1 by the sum of the sine squared plus the cosine squared. You end up with two separate integrals. We can integrate the first one by letting u equal the cosine of x, and then it becomes, 
the integral of u to the minus 3 du because we have a cosine cube in the denominator. The second integral, again, we've seen this before, we're going to replace the 1 by the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x, write as two separate integrals. Again, you let u be the denominator. You need a d in the numerator. In this case, we need a negative. We let u equal the sine of x. The du will be the cosine of x dx. We integrate and reduce. And that's how it's done.